In this video, we're going to look at the hip abduction firing pattern test. And basically, we will look at the sequence of the tensor facial artery, the gluteus medius, and the quadratus lumborum. And the ideal sequence would be the glute med is number one, the TFL is number two, and then the quadratus lumborum will fire at around 25 degrees of abduction. The patient, shoulder, hip, knee, ankle, foot in rough alignment here, because if the leg is slightly forward, they'll probably use more of the, the TFL or even the psoas because they are flex in. When the patient abducts, they don't want to lift too far because they lift too far, sometimes the leg turns out and then that would indicate the piriformis is too active. So the patient is simply going to lift the leg a few inches off the opposite leg. When we, when we look, before we start, we can just step back and just look and to see whether the quadratus is active. What that means is, when the patient lifts the leg, if the muscle lifts here first, as in it hitches, there is too much activation and it means that the quadratus is working too hard to lift the leg. If we just watch the patient, when you're ready, just lift and relax and lift again. Okay, if you just lift slightly slower and if I palpate the quadratus and now lift and back down and if I palpate it again, it looks okay, so there's no obvious, what I mean is sometimes they, they hitch when they lift, okay? So you can see now if she just hitches, there you go. So she's using the quadratus too much in the example. But in this case, the QL doesn't seem to be too active, which is good. Now, palpate, find the ASIS and come inferior and slightly lateral to the tensor facial artery. Palpate the glute medius, and what, what we ideally want to see is that this hand will go before this hand. So the glute med, when you're ready, please lift. Okay, and back down. And again, I actually feel the TFL is involved slightly before the glute med. And sometimes you almost have to do it two, three, four times. Just for now, wait, wait, wait. Okay, and again, that was, that was glute med. Sometimes it just needs to settle because the temptation is that when I lift, they do go slightly forward, which then preactivates the TFL. And even if I roll my patient so she's more neutral and we retest, sometimes we have to play around with it just for a few, there you go, and now it's glute med lift in. So this is number one, this is number two, but if I confirm by one, two, and three, and when you're ready, yeah. So one, two, and then finally three. So that's a normal sequence. Once we've done that, we can then bring the leg up. Bring this inside leg up, please. Keep the leg so we're going to be shoulder, hip, knee, and line. So this is testing the strength of the glute medius. Hold your leg in this position. That in itself will test the, the glute med, but predominantly a little bit on the anterior fibers. Hand, try not to go to the lower limb, because it's too long a lever and you won't, she won't be able to resist against you. Around the knee or just above, apply pressure to the, the glute med if you want to feel it and TFL and I'm going to slowly push put pressure down and my patient is matching. I push a little bit firmer, she matches and so she can resist that quite easily and I can feel the contracture of the glute med. The second test is the same again but what we're going to do now is a little bit of extension, not much, a slight external rotation, no, no, that's too much. So just a little bit, just to emphasize the posterior glute medius, hold. That in itself, for some patients, patients cannot always hold the weight of a leg because of the weakness of the glute med posterior fibers. Same test, palpate, apply pressure gently. Don't overforce it, and then increase pressure. So like 10%, 20%, 30%. And if you can resist and hold it for a few seconds, then that would test normal. You can see if there was an apprehension, there was a slight weakness, but overall I would say that would be a negative test um, showing that the glute med strength is normal and firing sequences is normal as well. 